Ganzen. Over. Oh, the dog's got taken out by the dog. I just keep losing them down the hill. Oh, these dogs. That's rotted all the way through. We won't use that.
Alaska any day of the week over this place here. This is a miserable place to cut wood for sure. Everything's on a hill. Briar patches everywhere. I'm just cutting this so my parents have some more wood for their winter because we'll shortly be on the road back home. Yeah, I picked through most of that and got all that out of there that you cut. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway. Load. Hop in so we got weight in the front of this thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Alright, pit stop. Get the tools. You gotta watch these sticker bushes. They like to get you. portion of it was salvaged it's, it was old like from the late 800, 1800s or something and uh so he redid it and built onto it and kyle and alan's house is way down there i don't know if you can see it through the woods or not but that's where we're building their new house
getting chilly here in East Tennessee. See, it's 20 degrees and we have got work to do. <laughs> we got finished processing this firewood because our box is more than half empty. It's actually warmer back in Alaska today. It's what, 37, 37 degrees, back, degrees home? back home? But I'm glad we got these uh, eye hood heated jackets. They're making things much more comfortable. Yeah, because it's pretty chilly out here this morning. I guess they're heated around the uh, midsection of the back and then the hoods are heated yeah. too, which is yep, crazy. Yeah, the hoods are also I can, heated. I can feel it, that's for sure. It's uh, definitely a lot more bearable. Oh yeah, they're, they're way more Once comfortable. Once we get back up back home, We'll really put them to the test. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Well, it's nice too that you can just switch the uh, heat on them. You can go yeah, from 122 the, uh, degrees to 158 degrees. Just, just yeah, just this push. Here, thing. let me see. Show them that button, the button. I guess you push that oh. button. Yeah. And you can actually turn the light off. So, like if you're out hunting or like us videoing or whatever, you don't even have to see the light, which is kind of nice too. Pretty nice jacket. Yeah. Yes, and rather are. stylish, I would say. So <laughs> I look nice. You look very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I thought so. And luckily, they're waterproof too. So all that rain we had this summer, they would have been fine. Been, yeah, pretty handy during that. Absolutely. I know I'm enjoying it today, but we have got lots of work to do. Yep. We'll be firing up the the uh, splitter here. Split that, and then we gotta go cut some more. I think the next thing on my list is going to be the heated gloves. <laughs> my, yeah, my, my hands, hands are, pretty cold right my now. Hands, my hands are a little chilly. <laughs> you know, it's not too bad on this, but like when we're, I'm going to be plowing. Yeah. Side by side, uh, heated gloves would be pretty nice because you're just setting, you're not really working. So in that instance, yeah, heated gloves. They used to heated socks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll have to look into that. I don't know if they have those or not, but. Goodness knows these jackets are making it much more bearable. processing your own firewood heat you twice so I'm definitely getting a little toasty in this jacket yep but it's really easy you just hit that button right there turns it off or you can make it cooler filled up yep all right please remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time if you decide you want one of these jackets there's 10 percent off in the comments in the description for you